Hi, I'm Lindy Goodall, the founder and former owner of Cactus Punch. Now I own Lindy G Embroidery Designs. Part of my mission is to bring cool products and ideas and tips for you to make your embroidery life more fun and easier. You know, I've been using Apple computers since 1981 and Mac since 1984. I've also been using embroidery software on my Mac since 1993. But until recently, the only way to color, convert, or view those designs was on a PC. And although I had one, I had to have a major compelling reason to turn it on because it meant copying all my files onto some media, at least today we have jump drives, taking it to the PC, waiting for it to boot, fumbling around in some Windows program, doing whatever it is I had to do, copying back to the stick and back to my Mac. What a hassle. Well, today we have converted Mac. And now we can do all of that and more right on our Mac, right in native OS. And it's so convenient. In fact, I didn't realize how much I needed a utility like this right on Mac, my Mac. I didn't know how, how useful it could be. I found files that I totally forgot about, files that I had no way to open, files like Melco Condensed and GNC and EMB. Now I can open those designs, convert them to a format that my machine will read, and I'm good to go. So let me quit talking about it here and come look over my shoulder and I'll show you to you right on my Mac. Here I am in Finder and we're looking at a thumb drive full of embroidery designs. You can see the names are not very descriptive. Many embroidery design files have cryptic old style DOS names and still even today some machines require this sort of naming convention. After installing Converted Mac though, I can actually preview those designs and I'll just press the space bar on the keyboard and notice as I scroll down using the down arrow or up arrow keys on my keyboard, I can get an image of each little design. Now I can also do a faster way by clicking the cover flow icon and now we can scroll through folders. So any open folder that has designs in it, we can see what they look like. And if you notice we have .art, we have a .cnd, we have DST, we have all these different formats and we can see them right in the Finder. Now because I use Converted Mac a lot, I have put it down here on my dock. So there it is right there next to my main embroidery program and I'll just click it and we'll open it. Now if you use a Mac, you've undoubtedly used iTunes or iPhoto and Converted Mac feels very much like those programs. Other embroidery programs that have been ported from Windows, well, they feel like Windows apps. Converted Mac feels like a real Mac app, not some hokey remake of a Windows program. And it's because it's been written as a Mac app from the ground up. So this is really wonderful for us Mac users. And you can see that my embroidery volume is selected here. And down in this area, I have all the various folders. Now I can change my windows change my, the size of my windows and we'll just click this group here. And here you can see those same files that we were looking at in the Finder. If we look at these files, we'll notice some of these are unusual file types. These are not file types that we can send to our sewing machine. So .cnd, .gnc, .emb, these are all software formats. And to be able to sew them on a machine, we need to convert them. So we can convert them to any of these formats. You don't need to convert to every format. You only need to convert to the format for the machine that you have. Now as we scroll down in this window, you'll notice that this design has been converted to a whole bunch of different formats. And notice that the color changes slightly. That has to do with the thread palettes that are available for that particular design. This group of designs are actually inside a zip file. So you can see that it's inside lgb007-pes.zip. We can look inside the zip file in Converted Mac. We can't do that in the Finder. I can also convert these to another format. So I could select this design. I can convert it to any of these other formats. I can look at the thread colors used. And sometimes I like to just print out text files or create text files because maybe I have some extra notes to add. So I do that just by clicking on the Create Notes icon and there it is. So that notes file has all my color sequences, it has the design 
specifications, but what's really cool is down here at the bottom. Storm Cloud is color number one in this design. This shows me what other colors it matches and how closely it matches. For example, Storm Cloud matches Sulky number 1270 100% and Steel Gray 99%. So if you use a different thread color or you have, most of us have multiple thread brands in our library, you can figure out what the closest match is. And this isn't, a, isn't doing it by RGB values. It's doing it by how the threads actually match. So it's, it's a pretty cool thing. So let's close that. We can also add basting stitches. So maybe I'm going to sew this on something stretchy and I want to add basting stitches to it. I can do that and notice that the basting stitches are right there on the design. This is really handy. Another thing you can do is if you share your designs on the internet or you post them on your Facebook page, you can put images up. So if I want to create a TIFF file, an image file, all I have to do is click on the Create TIFF and now notice that I have an image of my embroidery design and this makes it real easy to post and of course you can just drag and drop them into iPhoto and use iPhoto to upload them to your favorite site. I've opened up a new folder and we're going to convert some designs. All I have to do is select them. You'll see that the first one is automatically selected for us. If I hold down the command key I can select the designs I want and then I just go to convert and I'll pick the format that I want to convert to. Now, these are already in PES format which is my favorite format so we can't convert to favorite. Let's convert to Jeff. All files are converted and you'll notice that now I have some extra JEF formats on here. Now let's suppose that for this time I only want to sew this design. It's an endless hoop design, repeating hoop and I'm just going to click and I can drag it right out to my desktop. Now the nice thing there is that I don't have to figure out where on my computer that file is. And on my main computer, my embroidery designs might be nested 10 or 12 folders deep and it can be really hard to find them afterwards. So I can just drag it out to the desktop, drag it to the media that I need for my sewing machine and I'm good to go. There are many options for customizing the way you work in Convertit Mac. The built-in help is clear and it's easy to understand and it's sure to answer most any question you might have about Convertit. Now, one question I do get asked a lot is whether the program converts a graphic to embroidery. And the answer, of course, is no. Embroidery files are not simply some different type of graphic format. Creating beautiful, interesting, efficient designs requires skill, knowledge, and powerful software. And while there are auto-digitizing programs on the market that can automatically apply stitches based on color recognition, it's pretty much like comparing a coloring book to Photoshop work of art. It's just not the same. Nevertheless, Converted Mac is a tool every Mac importer needs in their arsenal. Not only will you save time and frustration, you'll save money. So what are you waiting for? Free yourself from that PC and work in the environment that you know and love.